So if I want to do a password to put into my access database so that someone needs a password to open it, then I can do that quite simply. There is another way of doing this where you actually give people user permissions, which is much more advanced and should be used with caution. This one too should be used with caution because if you forget the password, you could be in trouble as you may not be able to open your database. So please keep your password safe. So to do this, you just need to go into File, and in Info, you'll see there is Encrypt with Password. If I click on that, you may get this message up. It's a common one. You need to open up the database exclusively so that you can actually put the password onto it. So let's click on OK. The database is open, so I just need to open it again, and you can do that just by going into Open. And if I just go a little bit further down here, you've got your option here for open and you choose open exclusive. First I need to just click on my file there, file open exclusive. And now I will be able to apply a password. Go back to file, make sure I'm on info, encrypted password, and here you'll see that I have to put it in and also type it in to verify it. OK, so I'll enter both of those, click on OK. So now someone needs a password to actually open this up. So if I was to now close it, go back and open it, it should be right here. I need a password to get into it. Now if I want to get rid of a password, I simply go back to File, choose Decrypt Database, Again, I should have had it opened exclusively, so let me do that quickly. Go into here, go to open. I'm just going to move this down again. Choose my database. Go to open exclusive. Enter the password. I'm now going to go back to my file. That, doing that exclusive bit, as you can see, is easy to forget. Decrypt database, you simply type in the password and there is no more password protection on it. So that's how you do password protecting. That's one type of password protecting on access. Now if you want to do it so that people, different people have different permissions in there, there is another way to do that and there will be a new tutorial for that coming soon.